With two little golden statues gathering dust in the TV room and over 100 movies behind him, where does a man like Michael Caine go now? Well, Bethnal Green, obviously. And so it was we followed the former Mr. Micklewhite to watch him consolidate his position as emperor of all screen Londoners with his role as dodgy geezer boxing promoter Billy Shiner Simpson alongside Martin Landau in his latest project, Shiner. I once read a quote from you um, where they said the first thing you look for in a script is the location. Yeah. Now we're in Bethnal Green, so that can't have been the But it didn't yeah. apply, no. <laughs> well, it does apply in a funny way because I, I love to make films in England, and if I can make films in London, you know, I'm a Londoner, yeah. uh, 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 um, it's, it's kind of important. But the basics, the basis now is, I mean, when I was younger, I used to get the girl in the movies. Now I don't get the girl, I get the part. The part has got to be what I want to do because it's not worth getting up in the morning otherwise. For instance, on this film, I so look forward to coming to work even, which is unusual. Uh, some movies are fine, some are a bit of a drag, but here, it's, it's actual fun to do it. Well, the atmosphere here, when I came in, I mean, I was a bit wary, because, I, you know, I thought you might be quite curmudgeonly in your yeah, old no. age. <laughs> and you were having a great time down there. Yeah, yeah, so. we have a lot of laughs on this yeah. stage. We're over rehearsed. We don't want to leave the game in the locker room. <laughs> Tell me about the scene we just saw you um, working on downstairs with Martin. That's uh, meeting the uh, American uh, uh, boxing manager who's brought over the guy to fight my guy. And we, I mean, he is big time and regards me quite rightly as just a bum. And there's a lot of tension between the two of us because although I am a bum, he's, he's quite a dangerous, psychotic bum, this guy. And I put Shiner. Uh, and, and so we're getting it together. That's what we were doing there, getting the, the eyeball contact going. You do that um, dangerous psychotic eyeball stuff very well. I remember for Mona Lisa, it was terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's get, got even further now. My eyes are getting more wicked as I grow older. <laughs> it's the wrinkles around them. Action! Frank. Billy. Billy, how's your boy today? He looked a little nervous at the weigh in. Oh, he's fine. And yours? Bored. A head that big should be very easy to hit. <laughs> You're back making another movie which is very much about London characters. Yeah. Uh, it's very much a British film through and Yeah, through. exactly, yeah, yeah. And I imagine, you know, if, if we come to write the history of British movies and, and certain types of characters, yeah. there will be an enormous chapter devoted just to <laughs> your work. Have you been, watched with interest the way it's changed over the years, the way Londoners are portrayed in films, the way this kind of underbelly of society is portrayed? like gangster film Get Carter, one of the reasons we made that was that British films always play, portray gangsters as either stupid or funny, and they are neither. <laughs> and that's, I've carried this one further from Carter into here, you know, who is, although he's a failure, he is not stupid, and he, although he is funny, this picture is funny in its extremes of madness and violence. It's very funny in that extreme way of doing things. It's a very dicey tightrope to walk because we really don't need another gangster film. There's quite a lot of them out there. And this, this has got to be very different and, and touch wood, which I, I will do in a minute when I finish the interview. Uh, that's what we're doing. I'm very happy for you, Billy, really. This man has been in the business all these years. He finally gets a chance at a big presentation. What is it? Uh, four bouts? Five. 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 And your boy's topping the bill. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Spedding, you're... Uh... Pardon me. Your uh, dressing room is ready. May the best man win. We hope so. <laughs> See you. Well, Michael, you're a big man, but you're still looking pretty good shape, if you don't I'm, mind. I'm OK. Say. I'm doing all right, yeah. Great to meet you, and good luck with this. It looks like it's going to be terrific. Thank you, John. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. May the best man win. We hope so. He already has. Obviously, a star with Mr. Kane's pulling power can share the screen with pretty much anyone he chooses. So it came as no surprise that for one of the movie's central scenes, he requested the Film 2000 crew play the pivotal role of film crew filling a gap in the back of shot. And they're also available for children's parties. Shiner will be released later this year, and if our chaps make the final cut, I'll eat not only my hat, but several pairs of shoes too. <laughs>